The debate of child transgender affirming care is back in the national spotlight after California Governor Gavin Newsom signed a new law on Monday. California's Assembly Bill 1955 bans public school employees and contractors from disclosing a student's gender identity or sexual orientation to their parents or guardians. The law stirred up widespread backlash from challengers on social media, with some parents saying the law violates parental rights and that parents, not the schools, have the ultimate responsibility to protect their children. The Liberty Justice Center filed a lawsuit on behalf of the Chino Valley Unified School District against Governor Newsom and the state of California, saying school officials do not have the right to keep secrets from parents, but parents do have a constitutional right to know what their minor children are doing at school. Parents are the legal guardians of their children, not Governor Newsom, Attorney General Bonta, or Superintendent Thurman. A spokesperson for Newsom called the lawsuit deeply unserious, arguing that parents continue to have guaranteed full access to their students' educational records consistent with federal law and that the state will swiftly prevail in this case. Meanwhile, SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced that he's pulling SpaceX headquarters out of California and will move his company to Texas over the law's passage. Proponents of the law say the bill will allow LGBTQ children to feel safe at school and allow them to decide when to announce their sexual identity to parents who may not provide a welcoming home. On X, Newsom's official press office account posted, the signed bill protects the child-parent relationship by preventing politicians, school staff, from inappropriately intervening in family matters, attempting to control if, when, how families have deeply personal conversations. The Supreme Court is set to hear a case regarding a Tennessee law that bans hormone therapy and puberty blockers for minor children. Proponents argue Tennessee Senate Bill 1 violates the 14th Amendment under the U.S. Constitution because it discriminates based on sex. Families, doctors and the Biden administration asked the Supreme Court to take up the case, which the justices will hear before November's election and will likely decide on next summer. Meanwhile, the Biden administration has flip-flopped its stance on child gender-affirming care. At the end of June, the New York Times reported that the Biden administration sent them a statement opposing gender-affirming surgeries for children. Former President Donald Trump has called on Congress to pass a federal law banning all child gender-affirming care, calling it child sexual mutilation. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more unbiased straight facts, download the Straight Arrow News app.